Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Having One. I'm Zach, and with me is Chris and Ryan, and today we are drinking Easy Eddie from Big Grub Brewery. Cheers, gentlemen. Cheers. Cheers. Eddie is the first kind of special can release that Big Grove did. They just started canning. I don't think it's quite, well, we have another beer here also that we've tasted tonight, the first launch, which was their first one. In store. In store. Um, a double dry hopped IPA. This Easy Eddie is a hazy IPA. Yeah, so we're excited to try new stuff from Big Grove. Not really new, but new New in cans, and this is the first time I've been able to have it. Special thanks to Ryan for going and picking this up for us. Made the release. Yep. They sold out in under two hours? Well, they sold out. We, we first stopped at Solon because um, they, I think they opened at 10. We got this Solon at about 11.30, and they were they said they'd sold out by 10.30. 10 cases there. Iowa City got, I think, 45 or, cases or something like that. And so, um, yeah, I got to check out the Iowa City location and was pretty much blown away the the bartenders were great um i know it was a release day so they're probably throwing out you know pulling out the extra stops a little bit but that, that place is huge huge patio outdoor patio three big garage doors that open up to you know when it's nice out i mean the place is massive there's games inside games outside foosball um shuffleboard i can't wait to go back i didn't want to leave when we were there uh, but uh, didn't have a driver, so I had to be responsible in that aspect. I got to try the pineapple mango milkshake version of this. It was unbelievable. I mean, really? what what better thing to what better fruits to put into an IPA to infuse in an IPA than pineapple and mango? They also did the uh, I think it was like a blackberry milkshake at the Sullen location. I've been interested to try that because those flavors don't really mix as well. But I would love to see him do that pineapple milkshake. The, um, that was my first milkshake IPA too. And we actually got the last two pours out of their, what do you call it, cask? Yeah. Last two pours out of the cask. They gave it to us for free. I, That's where all the good stuff settles to. Well, the, yeah, the, the pulp, <laughs> the juice, the milky, the milkshake part. I mean, it was thick, but just great mouthfeel with that. And, I mean, great flavors that work really, really well with this kind of a beer and yeah, I hope to, I hope they do that again. That's, they said that was their first time trying a milkshake IPA too and that was actually everyone's first taste. I mean, it was, the beer they made was in that cask and as soon as they tapped it, that was the first taste anyone had had. I mean, if, the, <clears throat> if they didn't think the end of it was good, I'd, I would have loved to have tried the middle or the beginning, you know, because I thought it was excellent. But And you had been to the Solon location previously, right? I've so been to the Solon, stuff. yeah. Solon's great for, Solon's always had great food. Big Girl Voice has solid very solid beers. A really cool location there in Solon. Cool building. So for those that don't know, they're, they're two completely different experiences with essentially the same great beers. Definitely. Um, I don't. It seemed to me like the Iowa City location. Their tap and I hadn't been, I hadn't been to the Solon one in over a year probably. They had more beers on tap than the last time I'd been to Solon in Iowa City, and we may have have had something to do with the Easy Getty release. They also had a lot of other um, other breweries on tap too, but it's a it's a different experience. Uh, so Solon's more dine in. You have a waiter, waiter, waitress, normal stuff like that. Where Iowa City, you go up and order, kind of concession style. You know, they got their a smaller menu. It's a little more hand type food. I've heard too, right? Like yeah, tacos it's like, snack, like it's not a place you want to go when you're hungry. But I tell you, when we got there at like a, a little before noon, eight, food was great. And it was far busier when we left at like 1.30 than it was at noon. I mean, it's a place that people go to hang out, have a few beers in the middle of the day. It's it's dog friendly, I was told. There are people asking about bringing their dogs and a lot of kids around. And one of the cooler Iowa tap rooms, really tap rooms that I have ever been to. I mean, they did, it, they did an excellent job. Brian, can you explain to our listeners where exactly it is in Iowa City? Just for those people that haven't been there yet. It's on the south edge of Iowa City. I believe it's um, it's right next to Alexander Lumber. Uh, for people who are familiar with the area, would know where that is. But if you take Highway One, for people who aren't carpenters, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> if you take Highway One 
and head, um, <laughs> sorry, head head east, uh, right at you, Highway One, right off the interstate, 380. Head east, you'll get into the more downtown part of the area. I think it's Burling or Gilbert. I think it's Gilbert. It's the intersection of Gilbert and uh, whatever Highway One turns into. Yeah. But they're developing the <laughs> they're they're developing the back the the patio. Um, looks like they're getting some man-made ponds and stuff back there. They're they're making the landscape really nice back behind the building. So it's a great place to hang out. I'm going to recommend that you check with Siri and get your own directions. Yeah, I don't know why you asked me that. I mean, <laughs> well, I mean, I, I, yeah, I, I guess it's, it's, a, it's pretty much like a, a southern, new segment. Ryan a, a, gives directions. A, a general idea of where it's it is. the southernmost edge of Iowa City. If yeah. you, it's Gilbert Street because you, we drove by uh, the liquor store where we used to run. You make runs to, well, excuse me, while tailgating, if you run out of you know some drinks, you run down to Gilbert. Gilbert, uh, I don't know if it's Gilbert Liquor Store or what it is, but. And this was nine ninety nine for a four pack. It was ten even. Oh, ten even. It was ten bucks. My bad. Which I think he, you know, was pretty cool. And then a lot of these special can releases are jacking them up. They jack them up. They kept it very reasonable. Um, I think it probably had a large part to why they sold out so quickly. I mean, people who aren't huge beer geeks, you know, they go there, they see a twenty dollar four pack, they're gonna turn their nose up at it, no matter what it is. Well. You know, the random person is there. They'll pick up a couple for 10 Yeah, and you piece. obviously want the first release, can release, to go good so you can have a set. You know, that'll keep mm-hmm. them coming back. You got some brewery stats? or Yeah, uh, Big Grove, Solon, Iowa City. Uh, you can find out more information if you go to biggrovebrewery.com. They are on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I'll add another thing about the Iowa City location. I don't know if uh, it's Iowa City college town i mean there's some really good eye candy <laughs> here's to eye candy here's to eye candy and <laughs> scenery great scenery there in inside i mean in a couple months i don't know if we'll have that done their little uh landscaping project in the back i th- I'd imagine that's the iowa city that's probably in charge of that but speaking of scenery i think they do yoga they're in the brewery actually right i uh, that i don't know i think there's they have like a yoga night I'm sure the scenery is good. I gonna... might have to check it out. <laughs> uh, so on the can, we got uh, just says Easy Eddie in white. It's got a blue swirl. Yeah, it's a, a uh, swirl, but it's your classic 16 ounce aluminum can with the applied on label, and there's some kind of a stripe pattern, wave pattern, like Zach said. And if you were to go from left to right, it goes from a light blue to a basically a midnight blue on the other side it's a good looking label it's just clean simple big girl brewery hazy ipa i think eddie isn't there an eddie like uh that somehow is uh, has a part in big growth see big Grove's pretty notorious for naming their beers uh, with like some sort of local history involved i don't know because i eddie is i thought but... that there's somebody i don't know if it's some uh part owner or or what but i I thought I heard that it was named after someone involved in the brewery. Cousin Eddie. Cousin Eddie. Shitter's full of cart. <laughs> All I know is I'm growing 20-pound tomatoes and my teeth have never been whiter. <laughs> I should probably mention I went to the uh, Weather Vane again for the second time to a beer dinner the other night. Uh, they had actually featured Big Grove beers and had five courses paired with Big Grove beers. And all the foods were cooked with or beer infused by Big Grove. They had the owner... Doug was his name, and uh, he was there to explain the beers. He'd come out and explain them before we ate. The food was phenomenal. It was $30. You got to try Richard the Whale, I hear. Yeah, we tried Richard the Whale. Uh, It was better than I expected it to be. Phenomenal. They had that. We had some Easy Eddie. It was really a great deal. He told us an interesting story about Richard the Whale. uh, You guys know what the name comes from? I do, because you told me earlier. I would have guessed the whale had something to do with whales, how they, the hard to get beers, they call them whales or whatever. Has Close. Anything to do with that? So when they started the brewery, all these, all the breweries, which they still do, were coming out with these big, huge, barrel-aged, like, imperial stouts. And the brewer said, and all it is is a big dick measuring contest, we need to make the biggest one. So the animal with the largest uh, penis, I'm told, is the whale. Richard, Dick, Richard okay. Whale. Huh. You're never going to look at that 
uh, label in the same respect that you did before after knowing that story. But after trying it, I definitely recommend you get yourself to that release next year because that was a phenomenal. If, if you're into stouts, that was a really good one. Let's talk about Kanye's new jam. Tell us about that release. So Kanye's got everybody all hyped up about the new song that's coming out that came out. Yeah, so basically Zach's giving us a little background of what this song entails. Yeah, hype the crap out of this thing. Then he puts it up. The only place you can get it is on KanyeWest.com. I don't think it's even there anymore. It is on iTunes now. Um, but it comes out, and then it, the song... Did you listen to it, Ryan? No. You wouldn't even listen to it. Once, if someone says Kanye, my, I automatically just... I, I shut my ears off, or Kardashians. I could... It's, it's what's wrong with America, that people care about people, stupid people like that. Don't get me started on Kanye or the Kardashians or any of them. Wasted time. But you can go. This this isn't a waste of time, your time, but well, it's a waste of my time talking about Kanye. That's how I feel about him. So I'll shut my ears and you go. It's really kind of <laughs> put a damper on the conversation there. Hey, Ryan, go ahead and get off that soapbox over there. <laughs> I'm sorry. Come, come back to the table <laughs> and let Zach finish. Yeah, go ahead, Zach. So sorry. anyways, I, my brother comes over and he's like, did you hear the new Kanye West song? And I'm, I mean, I'm a Kanye West fan, but not like a huge Kanye West fan. Didn't even know there was a new song coming out. He plays it for me. And like 30 seconds in, I'm starting to think this is one of those Facebook videos that never ends. And they try to see how long they get you. Because the intro to this song is like, you listen to it. It's ridiculously long. So I've listened to it now three times, trying to, trying to figure it out, really. And it's the longest two and a half minutes of your life. Like, you don't... That's the story of Kanye West. Any... No, I'm, I'm starting <laughs> to like it now. <laughs> it, it is starting to anything. really... So, I think it's two minutes of... This has been the longest two minutes of my looped, life sitting here talking about him. A looped song. I'm not going to sing, but lift yourself up off your feet. Let's get it on. It's like a soulful... Yeah, and it just... It and just... he varies. Sometimes there's drum beats, sometimes there's not. And he always like makes you feel what's coming, and then he backs it down. Yeah, longest two and a half minutes, I think, of my life, but added together, seven and a half minutes, gone. So then, he, then, then Kanye finally comes in, and he says uh, something to the effect, the, the effect of, these people don't even realize, though, this next verse, this next verse, these bars, and then he comes in with the verse, and it is, I can't recite the whole thing, but it is nothing but a bunch of... Whoopity scoop, whoopity poop scoop, and he does that for like twenty seconds. Yeah, and then uh, it's like another ten seconds of I don't know, some kind of a beat, and then it's over, and you're left wondering, what did I just do with that two and a half minutes, and what was he thinking? You know, he just punked everybody. I think. I, 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 think, I think it's genius. Yeah, he's got the internet going insane. Like, there's, there's uh, reaction videos with over a million hits of you, people listening to the song. So you sent that YouTube link, and I, that's what I listened to it on today when I had a chance. And it had 2.5 million views or, or something yep. close to that, which is pretty incredible. So 2.5 how... million people stopped, in, stopped their day to listen to Kanye sing about scoop poop. Yeah, but that's only on YouTube, and it just came on YouTube like a day ago. That's... It was on it was on KanyeWest.com for like five days or so before you could get it anywhere else. Yeah, I ref I refuse to partake in anything of that nature. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't do it. I'm gonna make you listen to it tonight. But <laughs> it... It'd be like uh, Clockwork Orange, where they hold their eyes open and make them watch that horrible scene. Yes. Yeah, it would, it would be it's similar be, to that for, to me. But um, I don't have to do that with your ears. <laughs> well, you'd have to hold me down. I'd run. I feel like this conversation would have been a lot better if Ryan would have just cooperated. <laughs> I couldn't cooperate. That's a, i got to stand my ground on Kanye and all well, that crap. He is our rules guy. So your, he, your philosophy is a, a, an open mind still knows when to shut things out? What? That's deep. Yeah, it's in a song somewhere. Yeah, I was, was going to ask if you had Kanye high, high beat Chinese food. It's, it's in a Kanye <laughs> song, yeah. Oh, shoot, that reminds me. I had high V the other day. I forgot to give my fortune cookie to Stella. She's going to be pissed. No fortune cookie? You always give her a fortune yeah, cookie? Yeah, I always get high V for lunch. If I go to high V for lunch, 
get Chinese food because you can't. That's I love Ivy Chinese, and Stella loves fortune cookies, and I forgot to give it to her the other day. I would just throw that I probably just fortune threw it. cookie away. No, I wouldn't I bring it up at this point. It is. It's thrown away. Good. But Never bring I, it up. She's not going to listen to this no. podcast. You can throw her fortune in the trash, though. So. Not my fortune. Bad juju. Let's talk about the beer, boys. I think it's time for that. Yeah. Easy Eddie, New England, IPA, Big Grove. I'll tell you what Easy Eddie is. It's really easy drinking. Six, big 10 4. 6.1 or 6.1? 6.3%. Not a, not a high alcohol content, but the other night, we kind of, or the other day, we had a pretty humid day around here in mid 80s, and I had this, and it really hit the spot. I pulled out some good pineapple notes from it, actually. The aroma, there's not a whole lot of aroma to me. It's really, the color is really that pale golden yellow. I like to call it like, kind of like lemonade. Pretty light. I don't think you can call that lemonade. Lemonade's like clear. See, and I want to say that when they've had it on tap previously, I've gotten growlers of this to take home before, and they were, which there's more, what do you call it, volume there. But I, I feel like it was hazier before. I mean, you can't, you can't see through the other side of the glass all that well. You can kind of make out maybe. A little bit of shape, but it's a well, it's a hazy IPA and it is hazy and it's like, yeah, um, just lemonade and cut you know that yellow yellow color. Like I said, it, there's nothing. Let me start over. Somebody else say I don't I don't say why. <laughs> Somebody else go. You just said a lot of things. And then, no, yeah, but I, I don't have anything I, to say. I, 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 what I what I want to say I don't want to I don't really want to say why. Just say I need to. I need to figure out how to express that in a nice. You have mean things to say. Well, not mean things, but if it falls short, it falls short. Let the big dog eat. You really want me to say it? Maybe we can edit <laughs> I'll it out. Just cut it out. Okay. Uh, I already have to cut something out. We got, a, we got a lot to cut out right there. Um, again, let me go, and then you can gather your thoughts. Let me, yeah, let's do that. That's what I was trying to get at, and you guys just wouldn't start talking over. Whoopity me. scoop. Scoop poop. Poopity poop scoop. All right, this is Chris, Heaven One Nation. Let me talk about this beer. The aroma on this is, to in my opinion, pretty non existent. I'm not picking up. Usually, when you pour New England IPAs, you, you really get that fruity aroma. And I don't know if you guys can back me up or if you can. Well, say this is I'm, a. They're not calling this a New England. It's a hazy. To me, uh, you don't. You a don't, New England, a New England IPA is always hazy, but a hazy IPA isn't always New, a New England. So. Well, you can't you can't tip your toes in the water. You can see light through this, though. That's not like a. Then it's just an IPA, and then you don't need to. You start calling it the haze. I think you're you're moving yeah, into that New I England. I agree. I agree. So you gotta not, pick a side. Yeah, you can't you can't be like I'm just a new IPA. Or I'm an England IPA. I think we've had beers here before, though, that have like tried to use that title of hazy, and they probably shouldn't have. Yeah. I think this beer deserves. It's worthy. It, it's worthy of the haze. It's worthy. I think it's not the yeah. haziest. No, I I have nothing against the haze on this beer. What I do have it is there's not really an aroma that I'm picking up that is other than just a slight beer aroma when you're drinking it. There's nothing. That's adding to my drinking experience when I, you know, when I breathe in, I drink this. There's, there's no added aromas that are picking this beer up. The flavor, um, a little bit sweet on the tip of my tongue there. I, I think I'm pulling out some of the, the fruity notes that they're uh, trying to use here. Just a tiny bit of bitterness that hangs with you. Nothing overpowering. I think it's really easy drinking. Fairly well balanced. Uh, I just wish it had a little bit more, I guess, aroma for myself. More of that hazy juice punch, a little bit. Yeah, I, uh, I think when I, again, when when I see hazy, I'm automatically putting it in that realm of New England. Maybe that's just my own, I guess, baggage that I'm bringing to the table, and it might not be warranted. But I guess that's what my perception was, and I I didn't get it. Uh, that being said, I think this is still really good. It's nine ninety nine for a four pack, sixteen ounce can. So I mean, you really can't you can't say that's a bad price at all. I and mean, I don't know if they if this if they've considered you know mass producing this like they are. I think they got four beers that they're you're right that yeah. they're going to put on the shelves. Mass produced their arms race, the uh, Boomtown. That was it, Boomtown. Yep, Boomtown will be 
Kind um, of their. I know they went black and gold cans because they're hoping to. They're, they're really hoping there's some tailgating happening. Sure, with that. sure. Uh, That'll look good at tailgates. Um, and they have two other ones. So it'd be it would definitely be nice to see the to see them make more of this and that you can go to the Hy-Vee and and grab it any day anytime you want because I would. Yeah, um, ten bucks for this. Yeah, sixteen ounce cans. Uh, nobody's going to turn this down. Uh, some people are going to go back for seconds. Uh, other people uh, are just really going to enjoy that one. So that being said, I'm going to give it an eight. I'm going to say it's really good. So well done, Big Grove. Just kind of hoping for a little bit more oomph in that aroma but i think it's a really good beer yeah i don't know i don't really have a big issue with i think there's a little bit of aroma there i wouldn't say it's oozing aroma or anything i think the flavor's on point it could be if you're looking at a depending on how you see it a new england style or whatever it doesn't pack that super juice punch there's a little juice there though and what we're dealing with here locally in my opinion is this is one of the best hazy beers around right now in, in our local... You have Eastern Iowa as far as... Uh, you know, I mean, we obviously have the Toppling Goliath and... They're in a whole other category. All, Everybody knows that. All their stuff. <laughs> uh, Barn Town, I have not had the pleasure of... They're, they're not distributed here in mm-hmm. our Eastern Iowa location. Correct. Um, so, I mean, it, there's only, a, what, two or three that are on the shelves? Or that you can... That we've get, been able to buy. That we've been able to yeah. get to. And I I think this is probably by far the best one for me. Uh, if you go nationally, I've obviously, I've had better hazy, better New England. So, I, I mean, I, I think I'd come in at an 8 on it. I'm going to give it a half a point more just because of that local. Like, they're trying to bring it here, and this is what I want my local breweries doing, is getting me the beer that everybody yeah. else in the country is drinking. So, I'm at an 8.5. I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with Big Grove for this one. Excellent point, Zach. Um, I'll finish whatever I started there earlier. <laughs> uh, again, I pulled out... There's some good... like uh, The other night I had it, and I was pulling out some pineapple notes from it, which is... Uh, uh, I think is why it tastes so good the other night when it was you know so humid out. It's just very... It's just a really solid beer. There's nothing nothing bad about it. We talked about the 10 bucks, which is great. Again, we'd love to see it on the shelves again. It kind of tastes it, it, a little bit like a wheat beer to me. And the look is kind of a wheat beer like. It kind of finishes a little bit like a wheat beer to me. Um, maybe, I don't know if I'm with you there. I don't, I don't, know, if so. I don't know if I'm not with you, but I don't drink a lot of wheat beers, so I can't really. It just kind of finishes. I think that's, I, li- I like the wheat beer. I think, yeah, there's an H. You have to wheat. 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 I like how what? it starts. The finish on it to me is a little. It, I just get like a wheat beer taste to it, and a what? What beer? A wheat. What kind Do of wheat? beer? <laughs> wheat. <laughs> okay. All right. So again, really glad that uh, Big Grove did it. We this is I, we we here at Havenwell love the hazy styles, the New England styles. Uh, again, I'd I'd love to see them do the mango milkshake or the pineapple mango milkshake again. Because that was awesome. That would get me back to the, the tap room for sure. And any if I have a free weekend coming up here, I would love to get back to the tap room and check it out because it's awesome. Love Big Grove and Solon also. So um, I'm just going to split you guys and go 8.25 because... My only complaints, I'd like to see it in a 12-pack. It's more of a 12-pack kind of beer because could, it's very... It's crushable. Yeah, it's crushable. You know, it's a, it's a beer that... <laughs> At six percent, it's you can drink a six pack of them. There's no off-putting flavors about it. It's an eight point. It's an eight-ish beer, which is there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, we all had it really good. Uh, check it out for yourself, though. Heaven One Nation, go to Big Grove, either Solon, Iowa City. Uh, like Ryan said, the Iowa City location is the newer location. More well, the it's, it's huge. It's like I don't know. Is that where they brew the beer? Yeah, they brew. When you go yeah. there, yeah. so I didn't know this. I had my brother-in-law who came with me had been there previously. You pull in, and you're like, and you're thinking the door that you need to go into. That's not the door you go into. So, because I think that's where like the employees go into, and then where they do their canning and whatnot. So you kind of go around the side, and you're like, well, this, what, where are we going, man? And then it's like, bam! <laughs> like you turn the corner to go into the place, and it's just he got it's wi- huge. He got Willy Wonka. Yeah, it's kind of like that. So, again, a really, really cool place to check out. 
if you haven't been, and uh, hopefully I can get back there soon. Well, check them out. Check us out. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Hit us up uh, if you guys have any off-topic topics or you just want to complain about how terrible we are. Let us know, and uh, we'll like you back. Until then, Zach's going to take us home with the music recommendation. This week's music recommendation is Sean Rowe and his song Madman. Sean Rowe, R-O-W-E, and the song Madman. Uh, I don't have a whole lot to say about him. He's got a really deep, unique voice. Got on to him when I saw a cover of Lukenbach, Texas he did on YouTube, and that brought me to this song, and I have really been listening to it a lot lately. I hope you enjoy it. Here he is.